Hi everyone, I'm Sushish Grau. Um, I'm Spencer. I'm from the company um, Graph Paper, and we built this product, Key Reply. So my co-founder, Caroline, is also with me here. Um, okay. Yeah, so we're actually a team um, based out of Singapore, so we're just traveling um, to this region, and uh, really thank Eugene and the team for allowing us to just showcase what we have. So, um, in so in our previous roles um, in startups and also working in companies like Twitter and operations and sales, um, there are often times that we actually are responding a lot to questions from people, whether it be salespeople or, or whether it's external customers. And what we realize is that a lot of the times we are copying and pasting and typing the same thing over and over again to reply to these issues. If there's an issue um, that happened in, um, in, in a sales team, maybe on a product, what happens is that the operations team often have to ask the relevant questions in order to get the right contacts. The salesperson might also um, be explaining the same thing about the product over and over again to the customers. So, we, so this is a problem that we had, and we started talking to people around us. So our managers, our, you know, our, our colleagues, our friends, and also people, say, for example, working in online travel agencies, um, you know, startups, they all had the same kind of problems. So say, for example, this evening, um, Eugene received a, a huge amount of like, applications for to present an SVNU tag. So what Eugene would then do is that he will shortlist the uh, amount of companies, and he will send his email out to the companies to tell them, hey, um, this is um, SVNU tag, thanks for applying, you will be presenting next week. So is there a better way for Eugene to do that? Right now he might be using Notepad and copy and pasting over, but with um, our product, he wouldn't have to do that. So what, he, uh, what Eugene can do is simply Say, for example, going to email or messages, create a new email, send it to a relevant person, choose the key reply keyboard, so you then tap on the, okay, yeah, he'll tap, he'll, he'll tap on this, and then essentially the whole reply that he wants to send to the person will be there, and he can just send. So the beauty of it is that this can be on messages, can be on um, you know, your WhatsApp, it can also be on email. So whenever you need to type something on your, um, on your iPhone, you'll be able to use it. So let me quickly show you what the application looks like. So in Key Reply, you can have multiple templates that you can set up. So I can create new ones, um, adding the titles and adding the relevant responses. I can also categorize my responses. So for example, if my team has um, a couple of different type of products, I may want to categorize them in the different ways and add in the relevant responses that is relevant to those categories. And I can also like, you know, buy content packs and so on as well. So that's key reply. And so what you can do is that you can, um, if you think that this might be something that um, you would be able to use it for a team, um, you know, for any any of your uh, instance of troubleshooting issues or you know replying to people, um, you can just go to qreply.com, um, take a tour of what we can do, and you know just sign a team up. So right now we are at a stage where we are still uh, uh, really working on the product and you know testing it with our early customers. So um, if you if you'll be interested in joining the the test flight, just let us know. Um, I think. Uh, taking a step back, the way that our team looks at um, the product is that we want to help teams um, in sales and operations to be able to work better um, with an intelligent keyboard that helps them to get their responses out quickly and in a, in a better way. So when we talk to our customers, we realize that, um, say for example in Southeast Asia, a lot of the companies um, that are really, really interested, they're not just interested in the replying part, but also in the language capability. So if, say for example, if they're able to buy content packs that are in English when they are in Thailand, you know, they will help them to reply to customers better. And you know, even within our own teams, different people have different levels of um, you know, answering questions. So we want everyone to have parity in terms of um, how we are re replying and responding to people. So I think um, we hope that with this product, we'll be able to help more teams out there to be more efficient and more effective in uh, working on issues. So we're raising a small round of um, seed funding right now. And you know, if you have any kind of partnerships in mind or you know, anything that you want to help our team out, just let us know. Um, yeah, thank you. Yes. In case you already thought about it, uh, what is your revenue model? Sure. Thank you. Um, 
Um, so I was able to cover that. Um, I think for revenue model, um, the way that we are looking at it, um, so our team is focused on trying to solve the value and the um, growth hypothesis right now. But I think for the monetization hypothesis, we have a couple of ideas in mind. I think one of them is actually the content tax, as I mentioned earlier. So if a team from Thailand wants really professional, um, professionally written um, you know, re responses in English that can help them to solve maybe their startup problems, then they can purchase these packs. Um, say, for example, in my startup, we're not too good at, um, you know, managing communication with investors, we can buy the investor um, re reply pack, and we'll be able to do that. So I think that is uh, one of the thoughts that we have. We also have thoughts about, um, you know, analytics as well as um, integration with other services, but I think that's more further down the line. Yeah. But we can create our own uh, replies, I guess, or... Uh, other than purchasing the, okay. Yeah, so um, any team will be able to just add in your own. So um, we intend to have a web interface and also a mobile interface for you to add in stuff. So it's almost like, it's, it's almost as easy as writing a writing on a, on a notepad. So that's what we want to do. But then if you don't have access to premium content or really good content, you, you might want to um, purchase something. And is it already on the App Store? So right now we are talking to our customers, uh, we are working with our customers right now, so like the early test five versions out. So if you're interested um, to use it, potentially just, just sign up at okay. clearify.com. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so on Gmail there's an option to have a canned response. Yeah. Um, so would this only work on mobile or does it also work on so I think for us, um, our team wants to build on iOS first. So that's what we intend, uh, we start out doing first. I think we have the idea that we want to move into Android and then um, um, in the in the in the desktop side. So I know that Gmail has the can response, which is uh, we use that ourselves as well. But then they don't have a similar one for um, iOS keyboard that I can use across all my different chat. So that's the kind of the problem we're trying to solve. Of course, definitely. Yeah, just sorry. Um, just just um, just drop us a note, and then we will be able to talk about it. Yeah. Question right here: <clears throat> What are some of the challenges of um, running a startup out of Singapore, or what are some of the benefits of being out of Singapore? You can use this. Sure. Um, so I think um, yeah, I mean, I think Singapore is a really great ecosystem. Um, not trying to sell um the country there, but um, I think the access to early capital is pretty strong. Um, I think um, for us, um, it was really easy for us to get a, a small pre-seed money, and that helps us to sort of um, quit our day job and to work on our startup full time. Um, I think in terms of the networks and also understanding the different markets, the in interesting thing about Singapore is that it's so close to all the different um, languages and all the different countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, and uh, Vietnam, and as a result, you realize different problems. So I think the whole language problem is discovered by us because of talking to customers in our, our region. Yeah. Yes. How big is your market size? Sure. I think um, we haven't. I mean, as a, to be honest, we haven't really looked at our entire market size like really in detail. Um, we thought that we want to build products that solve problems for some people first. So um, we look at um, a couple of verticals at the moment: sales and operations teams. Um, and I think we've got a lot of strong interest from like online travel agencies, um, people who basically handle like basically seventy percent of the responses. Uh, basically, can can be covered by ten to fifteen responses. That is um, the kind of customer base that we want to go into first, and then um, when our product is more mature and when we have actually more traction, then we would then uh, go into maybe the content side and, and focus more on other things. Yeah. All right, let's give a round of.